Okay guys, you're gonna pull these potatoes here and see if there's anything. There might not be. And so this is a winter harvest. It's January. And I believe these were volunteers. And so sometimes when I do potato growing, I just leave the really tiny ones. So, okay, Benjamin, you gonna pull them out, baby? Those? Yeah. These here? Yeah, I can see some already at the top. But having been exposed to the green or the sunlight, that's turned green. So those will be... Um, we'll, we'll use those as starters next or this coming year. Still family potato wings. <laughs> okay, get down in there. Gee. Oh. Hi, potato wings. Happy time, a nice little time down there. Little vacation area. Have you been? Have you had fun down there? Wow, look how big that one is. Actually, we can eat this one. We'll just chop off the part that is green. Why? Because um, it's toxic. So it's new. So it's new for it. So Are you gonna dig and look for him, baby? Or are you gonna just? So you said fingerlings they... actually will grow as long as the plant is still viable. But obviously, most people grow these for the size to be small. I like my potatoes to be big. I want them to be small weaklings. This guy's gonna be big. Hey, he wasn't big. How dare you? Okay, dude. There's more in there. Are you going to keep digging? Yes. Oh, God, no. Okay, so I do do heavy composting. He's probably scared of the dead larvae he sees. But, so yeah, we got some nice-sized potatoes, y'all, coming out of here. But at least we have a good harvest with the fingerlings. Hi, we were the fingerlings.